Hey, what's going on everybody? It's me again, Golden Blue Dude. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Why? Because this channel is home of at least one college football video every single day. Looks like Virginia Tech losing to Syracuse might be the straw that breaks the Virginia Tech camel's back. Virginia Tech is asking Justin Fuente to step down as head coach. A Roanoke News Channel is reporting this. Virginia Tech loses to Syracuse at home 41 to 36. What a disaster the Hokies are this year. Virginia Tech is now three and four after losing to Syracuse. They've lost lost four out of their last five games after jumping all the way up to number 15 in the nation after beating North Carolina at home. This is Justin Fuente's sixth season at Virginia Tech. He actually started off really hot going 10 and 4, but then it declined after that. I mean, you see a definite trend downward. Overall, he's 41 and 30, but after 2016 where he went 10 and 4, in 2017 he went 9 and 4, 2018, 6 and 7, 2019, 8 and 5, 2020, 5 and 6, and this year 3 and 4 so far. So yeah, you can definitely see that Justin Fuente is trending downward at Virginia Tech. It's time for Virginia Tech and Justin Fuente to part ways. Otherwise, Virginia Tech will find themselves in a situation where it's going to take a very long time to rebuild the program. They've had four straight home games and they've gone one and three in that stretch. That's not good. Losing to Syracuse at home is an all-time low for Justin Fuente and Virginia Tech. He's completely lost the players. He's completely lost the fan base. Justin Fuente is a lost cause at Virginia Tech. It's definitely time for them to part ways. Now, will Justin Fuente step down, or will he force Virginia Tech to fire him? That remains to be seen. Virginia Tech has a brutal remaining schedule. Four out of their last five games are on the road at Georgia Tech, at Boston College, and they get Duke at home at Miami, at Virginia. So they could go one and four down the stretch. Two and three if they're lucky. So Virginia Tech could be looking at a five and seven or a four and eight season. So when Justin Fuente and Virginia Tech part ways. Who will Virginia Tech go for as a head coach? You got Bill Napier at Louisiana. I think he's a good candidate. Jamie Chadwell at Coastal Carolina. Possibly a Luke Fickle from Cincinnati, although I don't think that's going to happen. He's set pretty well at Cincinnati. Hugh Freeze at Liberty. That might be a good one because Liberty is in the state of Virginia already. That wouldn't be a big move for Hugh Freeze, and Hugh Freeze is a good coach. Yes, we all know that Hugh Freeze comes with baggage. I think he's paid the price for issues he had in the past. So yes, I think Hugh Freeze would be a great candidate for the head coaching position at Virginia Tech. We'll see what the Hokies do. But for now, it looks like it's the end of the road for Justin Fuente at Virginia Tech. That's all I got for you for this show. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on my next show.